Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Line Plays of Binding Wise again after birth. Six wins in a row, and they've all been pretty simple. Hopefully, we get a little bit more of a challenge here. SHLZ XP4C with what appears to be like terrible shot speed, but otherwise, you know, great HP. Of course, we start with the Necronomicon because I complained about it so much in the last episode. It's only fair. GB bug doesn't really change things much. Um, I'm just waiting to go to that curse room. Like, HP-wise, we're obviously fine, but I wouldn't mind having a bomb before going to the curse room just to uh, make sure that we can actually derive value from it. Uh, although, if there's blue fires, we could just run through them as long as we go fast. But, obviously, that's... Not in the cards for us right now, and that's okay. How are the spiders dodging this guy that's right next to them? Honestly, it's probably worth paying one red heart for a key at this point in the game. Keep us stacked for when things actually become slightly more complicated, and we might be able to finagle a secret room out of this if you guys die in, like, exactly the right way. It appears not, but we did get a bomb, which now we no longer need, but, you know, you get the idea. Um... Just gonna be shy of being able to use Necronomicon on the boss fight, but to be honest with you, there's only like a couple of boss fights that really make sense to use Necronomicon on anyway, like Larry Jr. is a big one. Probably Ragman, if you wanted to, uh, you know, take out the the head easily after he spawned it, and maybe it would deal double damage to the, because uh, it would hit the head, which does damage to the, the boss, and then it could hit the the actual uh, boss as well simultaneously. I never really thought about that, but uh, it, it's all kind of for naught right now. But we're gonna come through here and now that we've been to our secret room and our secret room has given us some money, probably pick up a chance to get something from the shop. Replace the Necronomicon, get a cheap spirit heart. I think we should go for the 20 cent combo here. Like get this, it's a Joker card, I like it. We have no bombs left, use the Joker. Black hearts, those are good, but a little scary here, and we're not going to get seven cents back, so we might as well just buy the bomb for three cents so we have it, and then move on here. Um, and it is Larry Jr., but, you know, Spirit of the Night for two hearts is not necessarily an exceptional deal in our current circumstances, but it's still pretty good. Let me put it this way, if we had started with one red heart, two black hearts, Spirit of the Night, and the other items that we have right now, would we consider it a fair start to a, an Eden run? Probably, yeah, we'd probably consider it more than fair, so, um, that is, uh, I guess still really solid. Could use some DPS here, even more so than, uh, than HP, if you just wanted to give me, like, toothpicks, torn photo, screw, anything along those lines, I'd be okay. And if you don't, well, life goes on. Magic scab. Life goes on. A little bit of luck has never hurt anybody, though. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy or an unstable equilibrium. The more luck you have, the more lucky uh, you're likely to get in the game as well, I believe, at least. And, well, I don't know if that necessarily proves it, but it does fit into my pet theory. At least we're up to 16 cents, and we got another luck upgrade right there as well. Um... Okay, I mean, this is a really good setup, especially considering we know we're going to get a deal with the devil on this floor. All we really need to do right now is not royally fuck up. I would say a tears downgrade followed by a uh, bad trip is royally fucking up, honestly, so I'm a little bummed out. We probably sh just should not have taken that pill. Let's try this out. Okay, two bombs. Two spirit hearts, much better, obviously. And then two pills. And if we know what the pills are, that's one thing. Okay, well, we don't, but that's okay. Oh, lemon party, jump! Land here! Beautiful. Okay, so we've pretty much taken care of this guy already as a result of act actually getting, like, really lucky on pills after having a terrible selection. Um, and we can't really do anything with that, but that's okay. Let's come back here and, honestly, play the blood bank some more because uh, an IV bag would probably be better than Necronomicon long-term, especially with some certain item synergies and... Uh, a blood bag is just a no-brainer. If we can get it, then it's a, it's a valuable thing for us to have. Alright. Still no item room, still no shop. So, it's a great room for Necronomicon. Unfortunately, it's just not quite going to be ready for us. And no, uh, no blue poops that we can use to speed this up. But there is one champion green fly. And my only purpose in life is to finish off these rooms as quickly as possible. 
It gives me strength. So using that green fly to accomplish that felt pretty good. Our item room contains the dead bird, which is... I mean, similar to... GB Bug has actually been better than I expected it to be for us. You know, it, it can really... Especially against these really low HP enemies, it can run them over pretty quickly. But Dead Bird is like GB Bug, but like slightly better AI most of the time. Sometimes, you know, idiotic AI. Um, but we don't need to have uh, taken damage in order for it to work. But it worked out fine for us right there. So what do I know? All right, check out the shop. And we don't really want the jar, but we'll take... Uh, better chests in the future. The jar is also an item, I think. I, I wouldn't say it's completely worthless, but it's it's pretty bad most of the time. And considering we don't have a trinket, we'll take that and we'll just go fight the boss and we're really hoping for like a DPS heavy um, deal with the devil here. There we go. This is the dream come true. Get this guy wedged into a corner where he hurts himself with the fire or with his own bombs. I really can't believe I didn't kill him there. I, I'm overestimating the amount of damage you're doing. Get in here, dead bird. That is a bomb. You're going to attack the bomb. There we go. Please don't attack at the bombo. I don't know the words to the song La Bomba by Richie Valens. R Richie Valens? Los Lobos? I don't remember. It's probably not Los Lobos. Frankie Valens? Am I the, I've never seen Jersey Boys. I don't think La Bamba was in Jersey Boys, though. La Bamba is from Jimmy Kimmel. Okay, we get a speed and shot speed upgrade. That's not worth very much. And a bunch of spirit hearts, which unfortunately is also not worth very much. Um, sadly, that's pretty much our, our full haul from this floor. So I think we're going to head back, uh, go to our blood bank, crank the shit out of it, and then head down to the next floor. It's kind of a little, just a little bit of a slow start. Don't take this as me complaining about the items we have. I just wish we had a little bit more DPS. Um, but we're not really behind the eight ball right now. We're in a pretty good spot. And if I'm being realistic, like, I can't really complain about this. Plus, we still got a lot of pretty much every consumable except for uh, bombs. You know, we got enough keys to get us through... Uh, some disproportionate payouts of golden chests, which would actually be fine by me, considering we have mom's key. But we really would like to amp up our damage uh, on the next floor if possible. Hopefully it is possible. And I'm going to start, like, questioning things like that. Like, I don't know if I really want to fight uh, three waves of enemies just to pick up piggy bank. It's not necessarily bad, but it's just kind of like... It, it's not a great value proposition, I feel. I'm being a little snobby about it, but, you know, you got to pick and choose. Right now, we've, like, our parents have given us some allowance, but it's a pittance. You know, we can go to the corner store and buy some penny candies. And if you only got a hundred pennies, you don't want to pick up, like, a 25-cent sour key or something like that. You know, you want to get the candy you really want. Can't afford to be wasting our resources on uh, suboptimal pickups. Because we are going to, especially considering, you know, we're on the catacombs here. He says as he double-checks it. Um... Because, of course, I, I know everything about Isaac. Uh, I don't need to think about what floor we're on. I just implicitly know. Uh, we're going to start to get a little too aggressive. Like, I want to use bombs. I I want to get through these rooms in an... That was such a bad bomb. In such an... Or I want to get through these rooms in an economical fashion. And, you know, that is not happening right now. A champion enemy who spawns enemies that take a lot of hits. Without piercing shots or bombs, there's not a whole hell of a lot I can do to... You know, really shut that down. There we go. We finally got in. But I'm overstating the concern here. This really should not be uh, as bad as it looks right now. We'll check out our item room. Any DPS, any good tier effect. You know what? Let's take a compromise. Explosivo would be lovely. Doesn't implicitly, or sorry, doesn't explicitly raise our tier damage, I think. Um... I mean, smart fly, it's an orbital, not really what I'm looking for, but it's sort of in the right camp. But Explosivo would have been would have been a treat. We can use that to, uh, to deal damage if we want, but it's dicey. That was actually just an accident. Uh, I'll buy the Spirit Heart. Let's try not to just give it away for no reason. 
And we're really gonna have to play smarter, especially knowing that our deal with the devil chance is pretty low on this floor. Uh, we gotta slow it down because I am taking dumb damage, and I'm I'm taking dumb damage thinking that the game owes us like a brimstone. It doesn't. That was horrible damage. Um, I'm taking dumb damage thinking the game owes us a brimstone. It doesn't. If it shows up, that'd be nice, but we're tilting a little here. When do you use Necronomicon here? I guess, you know, whenever you want. Uh, I was hoping that maybe, like, a single status effect would get imparted. There we go. That's the that's the good stuff right there. Use Necronomicon. It did almost no damage. Would have been better served on the last room, probably. But that's a, a learning lesson. Gertie Jr., when you have some speed, is not that bad. And we did get Speedball, so it's not like we're, um, we're in a bad position on that. This is one of the better bosses maybe we could have faced here. Uh, considering that the rest of the floor annoyed the Christ out of me. Screw. Beautiful item. And then inside of our... Deal with the devil. The semi-unexpected Krampus fight. Which is really going to dilute our deal with the devil chances in the future. But! Krampus' head or lump of coal. Both of which provide a useful service in this situation. So we get rid of Necronomicon for an item that is basically strictly better. Justice card was really good. Even though I'm just going to leave. Alright. Slightly better situation now. Not necessarily, you know... Set in stone that we got an easy win, but a much better situation. Don't really want to check that out. Um, and the screw is good. Even though our damage is sort of still 50-50, the fact that we, uh, you know, can fire these pretty bad shots slightly faster is, is quite good. I gotta say, though, considering we have a tapeworm, it might have been better to get Lump of Coal, but, you know, we don't have a choice over that. We just have a choice about Necronomicon versus, uh, versus Krampus' head, and that's... In my opinion, a, a pretty fucking easy choice to make. Come on, come on. Just walk into the fire. Ooh, cracked ice. Cracked ice is really good. Am I saying cracked dice or crack ice? Or cracked ice for that matter? You know what? Whatever your heart desires, that's what I'm saying. How am I going to use the cracked dice? You might think easy as a per throw. And you, you would be right. It is a per throw. But, my inkling right now is why don't we use it on the arcade? Use it as a d20 and try to get some leverage out of that. We could get, you know, golden chests that give us more than one item. Which I think is, at this point, we want, well, we want both quantity and quality. But the more quantity we have, the more likely we are to hit one of those items that actually, you know, has quality as well. Two of diamonds is a great pickup here, especially given, well, I was going to say especially given that we're going to go play on that arcade, but we're probably not going to pick up too much money from that. We're going to endeavor to pick up as little money as possible and pick up other higher valuable uh, consumables or drops at least instead. And again, this is where you start to realize, like, we need to pretty quickly get our ass in gear here. Otherwise, we're gonna be we're gonna be trapped at low damage for quite some time. Very low percentage chance of a deal with the devil on this floor. Like as low as it gets without actually ruining our chance, I think, because we did have deals with the devil on the first two floors. Technically the first three, but we used a Joker card to get the first one. And we've used almost every bad pill in the game, so um, I feel no fear when it comes to using more pills. The one time I want red hearts, they they just do not come to me here. Easy room though. And, okay, I do want that. Maybe we save it for the boss fight at this point. I don't know. The more button rooms we get, the happier I am. I'll tell you that much. This room is completely acceptable. Alright, so what's our realistic best case scenario on this floor? Mom's knife on the item room is plausible, but... Realistically... I mean, realistically, it could be... That's the problem. People always want you to be realistic, but then if you say something that could happen, they're like, nah. I meant realistically. Well, realistically, it is unlikely that we get, like, the best item in the game. But it's as likely we get the best item in the game as any other special items, so I guess that is our best case. Now, that's the money I'm looking for here. No luck ups, but that's okay. I can feel my brain getting scrambled. What the hell? My own shot? That's what I get. That's what I get for trying to be prudent. I mean, I can't act like it's not my own fault, but still, I'm a little annoyed, so I'm gonna talk about it in this voice. I ordered the shit sandwich, you gave me a pe two pieces of bread with the turd stuff between them. Host hat. Not great, but now if we get, like, you know, number two, Bob's brain, something like that, we can leverage that for, for some pretty good, uh, advantage, I think. 
I'm relatively pleased with the way that went down. Still amazed that we have not encountered a single red hard, but let's do this. Gertie didn't get roasted and or toasted quite as much as I thought they would. Got to be nearly done with this here. I'm just going to throw in one more bomb to make it easy. Come on. Pretty bad, actually. The shot speed is okay. We were a little low in the shot speed department, but... Ugh. I might even sacrifice some spirit hearts to make this go a little faster. I shouldn't worry too much about boss rush. That's not really on my on my to-do list, but... I am a little concerned about, uh, about just our momentum right now. Okay, you cracked that for sure. I mean, Infamy is very good. I'm, I'm happy to just pick that up as is. I'm going to sacrifice one black heart and one spirit heart. Oh, no, 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 okay, okay, okay. Well, there's no other red heart, so I'm still going to do the same. I'm going to play this three times. And it's just a calculated play there. Then we reroll. And we got the D4. And I think this is a good D4 pickup. So we're going to D4. And we're only going to use it once. That's Unless it's horrible, but that's my style. Our rate of fire seems really bad, but I'm looking at some of these items, you know? I'm like... We got the body. We got attack fly. We got, um... We, we can't get the two of diamonds anymore. Oh, or can we? Or can we? Ooh, maybe? No, okay, that's fine. Life goes on. Um, we got magic mush. We got epiphora. We got, um... Bloody lust. It's almost a shame that we lost, um... The IV bag, which would have been good here. But I think this is okay. I think this is okay. And if not... Well, at least we had agency in our own demise, you know, instead of it just sneaking up on us. Like, how's our damage? Not as good as I would have expected. Chariot helps out. Well, I guess we're still... We're in a similar boat. We're banking on these deals with the devil to show up. I'm having a good time with those so far. Maybe we've got, like... Maybe we've got another out that I haven't foreseen yet. Maybe we're close to Beelzebub. Pretty bad hematomesis play. <laughs> All things considered. Lost like uh, 8 HP on it. Ooh, okay. It's probably... Ah, we're gonna do it. It's probably like my least favorite sort of run. But we can and have uh, made a win. Or make a win, if you will. Uh, out of low damage, very high HP and lifesteal. You know, a win exists within that framework. Might be kind of a boring win, but I think a win exists nonetheless. Well, great room to have Spirit of the Night on. I'll tell you that much. That's fine. We got a, a lot of invincibility, too. And I don't know... Did I, did I show the seed on this one? SHLZ XP 4C? I hope so. Um, I guess that's Celtic Cross. I, I, I should have noticed the aura behind us a little earlier, but yeah, Celtic Cross. And Hematomesis, big plays potentially here. That's not a secret room. You might just want to use Hematomesis to keep yourself alive uh, if, if things get really rough at some point on this run. Or we can use it to try to finagle some more red hearts, of course, or some, you know, spirit hearts, some black hearts. Get a huge play out of a dark bomb or something if we ever get the chance to have that again. But for now, um, I'm going to make my way down to... The Necropolis 2 hope that we have a chance at boss rush, but we are uh, not as concerned with boss rush for novel purposes as I am concerned with boss rush for, like, you know, self-survival here. You might be frustrated with me, and I, I understand it. You might be frustrated with me for my use of, uh, you know, the attack fly as our ultimate source of damage. Not respecting Epiphora, maybe, as much as you'd like. I think the attack fly is our ticket forward here, though. I, I've kind of made my plan, and I'm sticking with it for now. I will say that in contrast to the last run, I think we're closer to victory. I think we're, like, good DPS away from victory here. There's a Tinted Rock that we can't open, unfortunately. And if we can get that DPS... Who got that good DPS? I'll be, uh... I'll be surprised if we can't sneak a victory out of this. Again, as always, like, shielded tears are awesome, except when they're garbage, because your rate of fire sucks. And these enemies are shooting at us all the time. Which is super not fair, in my opinion. Just give me a bomb. Uh, I don't have a way to teleport out of boss rush. I don't really want to do boss rush, even with Krampus's head. 
Um, but I will do boss rush if there's an item in there that warrants it. Like, Sad Onion would be killer right now. Certainly this is like the hardest run that we've had in, in a while here. And oh well, it, it's about to change because if we get IV Bag out of this arcade, we're in a stupid good situation, especially with Lifesteal. Um, and we should probably wait for invincibility, but we're kind of on a, a slight time crunch right now. So I'm gonna burn through this as quickly as possible. We got Blood Bag, at least we got a temporary damage bonus on this floor. I don't know why I said temporary like that. That's not the way we say that in English. Temporary. Do, 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 do. A temporary. Do, 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 do. Temporary. Hmm. Still waiting on item room. Shop. There's uh, one of the two. Horsemen of the Apocalypse there. Can we even go to the boss rush? I think the answer to that is yes. Even though we're close, um, I think we have a bead on it. If it's in this direction. Chemical Peel is fine. That's actually an item... Ooh, we might as well walk over here and get something then. Chemical Peel is an item for which I'm not disappointed to have. And although we're missing out on a curse room to do this, possibly. Missing out on a shop? Uh, unlikely, actually. Um, I still think this is the right call. But I'm slightly concerned. Please, faster. Pussycat, kill, kill. Take that. Take the Spirit Heart because we need it. Take the Battery Charge because we're gonna need it. And this would be a strong play. If this happens, I'm going to be very pleased with myself. Every extra room just adds like a little bit of uncertainty. We can do this. We can do this. We cannot do this. What? No, a foot! A foot! We did not do it. We were so... We were like two seconds away. And we got my shadow, which is not very good. Wow, okay. Well, we invested big and lost there. Um, curse room could have been great. Shop, well, we did go to the shop. We just didn't donate, so I'm not I'm not too bummed out about that. But I am kind of bummed about the situation we find ourselves in here. No IV bag, no uh, boss rush. That feel when no IV bag, no boss rush. But at least we've got... Uh, Krampus's head and fairly regular battery charges, thanks to Battery Baby and... That's our principal damage source right now, and it's frightening because it's not really a good damage source, but I think if you think this is like a, a more likely loss than win right now, I think you're um, grossly underestimating not my play, because <laughs> that would be ridiculous, but I think you're grossly underestimating, you know, the damage bonus we're going to get from Bloody Lust, plus Life Steal from Charm of the Vampire, plus the amount of HP we have right now. We have a lot of advantages that are not very traditional for rebirth but are traditional from like a vanilla standpoint as weird as that may sound like uh this this is an old school isaac run right now just having a bunch of hp not great damage this is how a lot of vanilla runs tended to go and i think you know uh rebirth and afterbirth balanced runs to be a little bit faster a little bit more damage focused than in, in vanilla in my opinion at least but has been years since i played vanilla um that was very bad on my part there. But, this kind of run still, it has like a history of having worked in Isaac. I'm not saying it's going to be easy, and I'm not saying it's going to be particularly impressive. It might be quite a grind here for me, but we're going we're gonna to do our damnedest. And I think that we have, we have a history ourselves even of, of making runs like this work. And uh, Curse of the Unknown does not scare me. It's only a flesh wound. Really, Battery Baby is, like, coming through in the clutch to an extreme degree for us here. That was one of the few times I've ever been happy to have a rotation. Um, 48 hour energy, no explosive diarrhea, tears down. Uh, we're gonna leave with tears down in the hopes that maybe we somehow get PhD. Unlikely, but perhaps. I'm not even gonna say possible, but, I mean, that's obvious. I hope. Not a secret room, either. Which is kind of troubling, because maybe this floor is larger than I expect. Uh, Isaac's head, I don't think is very good. Our DPS isn't that horrible. I mean, we are... <laughs> we are killing, um, enemies in a couple of hits. Now, that's after a few Bloody Lust, uh, upgrades as well, but... It's not horrendous. Just lower than recent runs. No syringe, unfortunately. Speed upgrade's nice, though. And the money, I, 
Honestly, we'll probably make the hush fight. The odds of us doing it are quite low, though. When do you explode? You explode when you transform. Okay. Starting to get okay. But the problem is you get used to this level of damage, and then all of a sudden, you know, on the next floor, when your damage goes back down to, like, being not extremely good, you're like, what happened? We turned out the lights. Yo, uh, I think I speak for everybody when I say, fuck this room. We did it! Oh, we didn't do it. And we have to go back through that room, and we didn't save our... <laughs> Our Krampus charge for it. Excuse me? Come on. There we go. Alright, let's do this again. Well, we, you know what? We just want to blow that up then. No, 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 no. Don't push it. Don't push it. Ooh, we did it. Okay. This way, this way. That's our secret room, probably. Walked on the spikes. In the realm of... Good to bad ways of taking damage. I'd say that one's got to be close to the worst. Oh, at least we're, you know, at we've reached a point where we've taken so much damage, we can actually survive being backed into a corner. I don't know if we should be proud of that or aghast, but uh, that's the way life is. You know, and that's a, a lot. It's like when your kid takes a really... I'm not a father, right? That I know of, but like seriously, I'd be real surprised. Um... Plus, why are you taking pride in that? You know, people... It's a young man's joke. Like, I'm not a... I don't have any kids. That I know of! Yo, like, I get it. Intercourse. But, like, you shouldn't be proud of that. You know, you should... You should take care of your kids. That's not as funny, though, I suppose. Maybe I'm looking too far into it. Ball of bandages. We have an orbital! I'm happy with now. Um... But, like, I imagine that combination of being, like... Wow, Curse of the Unknown again, huh? That combination of being, like, horrified but also proud is probably what you feel like when your young child takes, like, a mammoth, solid, well-formed shit. Right? You're like, whoa, that's... How did that come out of your body? But at the same time... Good work, right? I'm just, just getting a little bit of extra HP here. Giving, a, giving the lifesteal some room to breathe. I mean, that's the way I feel about myself when I have a poop like that. I'm like, that's... You must have eaten enough fiber recently and, you know, maintained a relatively good diet to get that kind of poop out there. No spirit hunts. I, I, because we have Curse of the Unknown for the second floor in a row, I'm kind of flying blind here, but I am expecting, uh, that, you know, I'll get some lifesteal. We'll see when lifesteal happens. Dude, honestly, I'm dropping, uh, tapeworm. I think... It's causing us to miss shots that do not look to me like they should be missing. Oh, that is my own personal hell. At the same time, I completely understand why I took damage there. There's a lifesteal pickup. Okay, slow your roll. You're playing like an idiot right now, self. And you can talk to yourself that way. You guys can't talk to me that way, you know? You got it. Well, you can. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you permission. But you shouldn't, you know, you should be more nice and respectful, but I gotta be my own worst critic here, because I'm, I'm making some pretty dumb decisions right now. And these dumb decisions could cost us, I don't care about the streak so much as just like, winning six easy runs and then losing the first time there's any challenge whatsoever is not a good look. You know, we gotta rise, uh, rise above the, the first adversity we faced in like 10 runs here. We are killing things in one hit now, which is a good sign. Not gonna do the hush fight, I'll tell you that much. Seven keys is decent, but uh, not as decent as loving life, which is what I'm doing right now. We pretty much have to get in there with um, well, like a battery charge would be nice now if it could show up, but otherwise you pretty much have to get in there with the uh, fly because we can't land shots fast enough to do damage. So I guess just accept that we're going to take some hits here and then, you know, we, we I was going to say when the beam shows up, all of a sudden we're good again. But prior to that moment, it's going to be a little bit of a slog. Okay, here we go. If we get Curse of the Unknown again, I'm just going to accept that it's fate that we are deigned to die. No, we're actually pretty good on HP here, which is always nice to see. Sometimes a bit of a surprise. And this run is increasingly looking like one that's just never going to pop off. But, 4 HP plus lifesteal, bloody lust, decent damage. I think we got a good chance. 
I know I keep saying that, and yet the situation grows ever more dire. We kind of gave up on uh, on the idea of getting to deals with the devil over the. That was such a bad touch. Over the we gave up on the idea of getting deals with the devil uh, over the last couple of floors, which might have been a mistake. But it really, this is all catalyzed by an idiotic Russ. Uh, an idiotic Russ. You know, you don't know him. We went to high school together. I actually didn't go to high school with anybody named Russ. That's kind of like, as an antiquated name, except for, you know, Mr. Game Grumps. Uh, got him. Uh, don't push that out of the way, please. Thank you. A spirit heart is very valuable right here. Probably not going to go to the curse room. I think that we can trace the, the slow, seeming downfall, which is not quite coalesced on this run, uh, down to that failed boss rush attempt, is what I was trying to say there. The more time we spend at zero charge for our uh, Krampus' head, the better our life is, by the way. Just because we can get extra charges on it. So if we ever feel the need to use it, like, at all, we should. Wow, this damage. Okay. Self, you are, you're tilting like a fucking, like the Titanic right now. Slow your roll. Yeah, sure, you're getting the damage bonus out of this. You're also taking damage like an idiot. So, like, when you go down to the next floor... You're not going to have the damage bonus, but you're still going to have the ill effects of having taken this damage. So stop being dumb. Like, don't stand there when this guy charges you. That's like Isaac 101. Take a shot at me right here. It's the only one I got. Are you programmed to not blow up the Tinted Rock? There we go. The extra spirit art could be the difference between life and death. I still, perhaps selfishly, think that we've got an amazing chance to win this run. Because it turns out... The power was inside me the whole time. This is gonna suck, though. This, you, I get, I call a moratorium on yelling at me for my Isaac skills for the next, for this Isaac fight. Because really, with shielded tears, I hate to say it, I gotta get in there. Like, the orbital has to, get, has to do damage. Because my tears are not gonna be reliable. In fact... If any boss is likely to kill me at this point, it's this fucker right here. So we've really got to get through this phase. And I think we're going to do it. Get as much free damage as you can, because the orbital is the only thing saving us right now. There you go. Like, we, our shots are so large, I can't even fit them uh, in between without them being destroyed. So Shielded Tears is just absolutely destroying us right now, despite being a pretty good item. Most of the time. This is what you want. You want to get like that double orbital action. That was beautiful. I think we've handled this fight pretty well. Has it redeemed all of my horrible play on this run? No, I don't think so, but um, it's, it's at least giving us a better chance of survival, I think. There we go. That was a great fight, in my opinion. I'm going to go back and get this golden chest. I think that's pretty important. Um, we lost our hematomesis pill to hold a tears downgrade, which is a pretty dumb decision in hindsight. That worked out well. Um, maybe mom's key still working for us to some degree. Bombs are a lot less useful on the next floor, so that one's not going to be a secret room. Just ignore that one. Okay, we're going to have to play better. This is really the only. There's no other bones about it. We got to play better on this floor if we're going to get the uh, if we're going to get the W here. That's decent. Three dollar bill can be okay. Fear shot, not really. Maybe if it contributes to the mom transformation. Um, now tech two, I'm going to take. It's going to lower our damage, which is bad. But it's also going to mean that I can land damage. Wow, we did get the mom transformation. Uh, it's also going to mean that we can land damage without having to worry about all of our shots being blocked. I'm a little surprised at what I got hit by. Without having to worry about all of our shots being blocked by um, by our own shielded tears. So as, as much as I actually think that most of the time, Tech 2 is almost like an automatic skip. This is one of the rare situations in which... I disagree with myself and the conventional wisdom. Even at the cost of a pretty huge damage downgrade, the ability to actually land hits reliably without having to get right up in an enemy's face is more important. What else are we looking for here to, to take this run to the next level? Uh, more lifesteal. If we can just stack up like a lot of lifesteal... Not, not lifesteal items, but literally just like stealing life on this floor. You know, get back to 7 HP. Then we can afford to take damage, amp up Bloody Lust, and, and maybe compensate for that Technology 2 downgrade. I think we might be able to get out of this one with some tactics and strategery, if you will. 
Hoping for some luck upgrades. At this point, I'm not looking to gift horse in the mouth. You know, whatever we can get, I will take. Great lucky bomb there. Ragman is pretty much done. Little Horn is 100% done. Battery charge. Also useful. Okay, line him up. Good enough. Good enough. And the piercing shot, I guess, you know, from Technology 2 shouldn't be uh, understated either. Like, this is a valuable piece of the of the puzzle here. As is that lifesteal, we got back the HP we lost, which feels good. Now, the only thing that endures about that is the damage bonus we picked up from Bloody Lust. More keys that, unfortunately, we can't really use right now. And as long as we don't, like, you know, a hot, uh, or fire mind ourselves with $3 bill, I'm feeling pretty good. I really feel like Technology 2, it might seem like the wrong decision right now. I think if, if I play my cards right, you're gonna feel differently once we get to that blue baby fight. Because it's gonna look so much cleaner than the Isaac fight we just had. Since we can actually land damage. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna rely on Battery Baby to hook us up again. We did get a lot of lifesteal off of that as well. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, this is fine. This is not good, but it's fine. You know, uh, uh, nine lives? No, we can't get nine lives here. Uh, the syringe would have been good. A speed up hill is also okay. Rarely does Tech 2 save a run, but I'm relying on this to be that situation. Save a minor streak. If we could go the month of December, more or less, without losing, so I have a, I could get off on Afterbirth Plus on the right foot, that would be lovely. This has been like, I haven't had any ability to go on tangents in this run. I've just been playing sort of badly, but well enough to keep ourselves alive. This run, if it, if it ends in a loss, would leave a bad taste in my mouth, because... Because it's on me. As much as I hate to admit it, we we want that battery charge. Yes, nuke him, nuke him down. Still got a hit, but I I respect that as being probably the right decision either way. Holy crap, proptosis! After all this t <laughs> and the D100, would you? Oh, the mom thing did it there. Okay, no, no, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Even though we just got proptosis, I'm gonna do it. We got Beelzebub, Tech X. This is good. We'll take Black Lotus. Um, still no no vision, but we will win now. And we will win because of the Clutch D100. And you know what? I'm not sad about it. We also have Taurus on this one? This, this sort of, like, actually seems to suck, but maybe it's just because uh, the Haunt is, like, invincible for the first part of the fight, so it looks worse than it is. At least the tears look cool. Honestly, I might re-roll this one again. Like, the technology shots from, from sad epic fetus here are, are really bad. Oh, we got uh, Taurus Invincibility. We might not get the chance to re-roll. What is this room? Like, are you kidding me? I don't think I've ever actually seen that room. So in, in a way, I guess I'm stoked, because it's very novel. No question about that. This run got super fucking disco. I love the nightlife. I love to boogie. And on a binding of Isaac Pseudo Street. Let's go, team. I'm ready. That was not a battery, so it's not like we missed a window there or anything. And, ironically, I guess we're going to use our orbital to do all the damage, just like we did before. What about our own bombs? Not really that strong. Um, in the end, you know, easy win that was actually really, really tough. Not as tough as some runs that we've had in our past, but, but tough enough to be noteworthy, I think. And now I'm, you know, in that be careful what you wish for sort of mindset where, uh, I wanted a tough run. I don't know if I was ready to handle it, but for now, thanks for watching. We did pull out the W. If you enjoyed it, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.